Okay, time for Bandit level 32 to level 33. Um, we have, it doesn't even say level goal this time, it just says after all this git stuff, it's time for another escape. Good luck. And commands you may need to solve this level are SH and MAN. Okay, so I've logged in to Bandit 32 and we're immediately presented with this Welcome to the Uppercase Shell. Um, and we've got this funny looking shell prompt and let's try and write something so let's try and ls like we would normally do and it says sh1 ls not found okay so that's strange right it's it's made this ls uppercase and we kind of expect that right with with a uh, a shell called the uppercase shell um and yeah, that's just strange. Um, so we've got this, we've got this, uh, let's just try something else like echo hello. Yeah, so it's, we've got this strange shell, which is just taking what we put in and spitting it back out in uppercase, essentially. And then because it's in uppercase, our commands are in lowercase that we want to use so echo all in caps isn't a command that that the uh that the shell recognizes and the fact that it's using this sh means it's using um like it could be the born shell um bash is the born again shell um you've got the born shell there's also dash i think this is using the born shell because of this prompt um i'm not entirely sure but but you know regardless of the shell that it's using um, the sort of standard shell that it's using in the background um, you know we can't uh, pass any commands that we want to use to it because of this uppercase thing so how do we figure out a way to uh, sort of sort of maneuver circumnavigate around this uppercase feature uh, that's the, the problem right now when I came to this the first thing I thought of is well, if I can't put in any commands like usual, is there any sort of uh, numerical or sort of symbolic commands that, that I could put through? Um, because of course they won't be affected by an uppercase shell. Um, and so you can look around and see if there's any um, symbolic or numerical uh, commands you can put through and what you will stumble across if you if you look and I, I would suggest you go look is that there's these things called positional parameters now what's happening in this in this instance how we what we can sort of think of when we have done this now we've tried a few commands and seen this these error messages is that this shell is a program and it's probably running like an infinite loop where we input something it's performing like an uppercase function on it and then it's just passing it as an argument to the sh command um, and that's probably all that's happening here right um, so how do we how do we use that to advan our advantage um, you know we could only find that out by just testing that by throwing in a few commands and this sort of thing but how do we now um, take advantage of that and that is where positional parameters come into play so in a shell script we have some sort of already set variables uh, and one of them or is you can sort of the zero variable refers to the very first part of that command um, the the variable one so I'm talking about like dollar sign zero dollar sign one um, because the variables start with a dollar sign would correspond to the next sort of parameter in that command and so forth and so forth so if we had like sh echo um, Dean then dollar sign zero would correspond to sh dollar sign one would correspond to echo and dollar sign two would correspond to D um, in that particular instance and, and so that provides us with our answer because all we need to do 
is say dollar sign zero because dollar sign zero is already set to be this sh if what we believe is true that it's just passing our command through to the sh um, interpreter or command so if I hit dollar sign zero and hit enter it runs the sh command because that's just all this means in this instance and we get this dollar sign which means we've got a shell which I think maybe I think this corresponds to bash but again don't um, don't quote me so maybe maybe this was bash all along who knows uh, but look now we have a shell um, what's interesting is actually we're banned at 33 um, so we're not just we're not just banned at 32 we're actually this shell was like set UID and it's put us it's actually put us up to band at 33 which is perfect because we need to know the password for band at 33 um, so we can just pick it up now from our usual place and there's the password okay I hope that made sense and yeah brilliant I think we've only got one more to go right yeah one more to go so I shall uh, see you there.